Heart attacks are a huge problem clinically. One in 200 adults annually suffer from a heart attack, and cardiovascular disease itself is the leading cause of death in the developed world, killing one out of every four Australians. So generally what happens when you have a heart attack is part of your heart dies. And that's going to cause you some pretty serious problems going forward. You're walking around through life with a hunk of dead heart tissue in your chest. You can't pump blood to your organs, uh, and your body stops functioning. And so patients see high mortality rates and poor lifestyles going forward. So how do doctors manage this problem? Well, they've got a whole suite of treatments which slow the heart down, reduce the pumping load on the heart, reduce the chance of another heart attack happening. And all these go a long, long way to managing the issue. But that's just it. They manage the issue. They don't fix it. You're still walking around through life with a hunk of dead heart tissue in your chest. And that's what my thesis is about. It's about the regeneration of functional cardiac tissue. So how do we do that? Well, cardiac patches are a booming area of research at the moment. Academia, industry, you name it. And they can take a number of different forms. You can have mechanical support cardiac patches, which support the high stress loading after a heart attack. You can also have drug-loaded cardiac patches, which deliver drugs where they're needed the most. How my research is different is it's conductive. So when I started my thesis, I was thinking, hey, the heart's an electroactive tissue, so we need an electroactive support. Because if you take an immature cardiomyocyte, which is the cell in the heart that beats, and you leave it on its own, it dies. It needs that electrical signaling from other cells to survive. And so we're trying to mimic that. So how do we go about that? Well, it's a big material science challenge because we're trying to develop a material that is, one, conductive, and two, able to be implanted into the heart. And that's a pretty tricky problem. You're not going to go sticking a hunk of metal in the heart because that's not going to work out for obvious reasons. So conducting polymers make a great choice. They're soft, the body likes them, they're conductive, as the name would suggest. However, they're only able to be made on metallic substrates or glass substrates. Once again, we don't want to implant those. So the first half of my thesis was on the development of a system to be able to make conducting polymers in the absence of that substrate. And I've done that. We've shown conductivity is high enough to pass charge from one cell to another. The second half of my thesis is on the incorporation of the right biological factors, biological proteins to support that cellular growth and function. Beyond my thesis, you would need to go through clinical trials and regulatory approval for this device. I guess if I was to sum up my thesis in a sentence, it would go along the lines of, it's good to manage a problem. It's good, but it's better to solve it. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.